This thing is thick. <laughs> this is the main plate off of LS210. This is three millimeters thick. And the three millimeter size is good for racing because it's pretty lightweight. Three millimeters makes it pretty durable to withstand crashes pretty well. And uh, it should be a pretty good size frame for most people. However, if you are crashing a lot or <laughs> You are tired of replacing your frame, getting something thicker would be a little bit better. Something like three mil or a four millimeter or a five millimeter frame if you can find them. Now, another thing about this frame is this, this style is getting kind of popular. They used to call this a dead cat. I don't know what they call this anymore, but this is kind of a popular size uh, shape of frame. Today, I got the Lan Lancian LT210 and I got the five millimeter main plate. So here's the Lancian LT210. Let's open it up. Whoa, look at all these props. Looks like you get about 10 props both directions. That is pretty cool. If you are planning on breaking props, this may not be too bad of a choice. They're 5045 props and they're not, they don't look to be bullnose. So they're, yeah. Oh no, they are bullnose. I thought they weren't, they are bullnose. Okay, good. 5045 bullnose props. Let's see what else comes in here. Oh, got a Ziploc bag. That's kind of original. Uh, has the LT top plate and the main plate. A little bag of screws and other plastic goodies and landing gear. And the uh, spacers and camera mounts for the front. And the uh, LED. Wow, that's kind of cool. But anyway, let me get this thing taken out and put together and we'll take a look at it. Holy shnikes, this thing is thick. I got my uh, caliper here. Let's go ahead and measure this thing. Holy moly, 4.9 millimeters. Okay, I don't think that the video is going to do this justice, but this thing is thick. It feels heavy. Let me see if I can get any bend in it. Here we go, we'll try to get some bend. No bend, no bend. If we're getting any bend, I'm not seeing it. It is, it <laughs> is just enormously thick. Here's the uh, three millimeter LS210 frame. Let me get this up here kind of close. You can just kind of see some of the difference there. There you go. Look at that. Three, milli three millimeters versus five millimeters. This frame comes with two sizes of screws. It comes with a little six millimeter and this is to go through the top plate. Then it comes with a 10 millimeter screw and this is to go through the uh, bottom plate. So here it is assembled and this thing, like I said, these arms are just massive. It's insane. Uh, anyway, some cool things this has. Look, it comes with the uh, extra spacers in here. So you have the spacer to go onto the screw that comes up through the bottom. Put your power distribution board right here and then put another spacer on and put your flight board up here on top with a nut up on top to hold it on. This is the first time I've seen, seen it where it comes with enough uh, nylon parts to actually do all this. Usually you get the one or the four for the bottom and then four nuts to go on them and that's it. It also comes with this uh, landing gear and the landing gear is just the uh, nylon spacers on here. Uh, I've started taking this off of all my quads just because I end up losing it and then it, all, it never wants to sit level like it's supposed to. Back here on the back it has these 3D printed uh, little holders here and this is where you could put a uh, light across here and glue it to the uh, spacers or rubber banded or whatever you wanted to do back there. Uh, back here on the top plate, it has the uh, wire holder here, your power wire, so the power wire can come up and go through here. Usually, I put a grommet in here, and then uh, that helps hold the wires in there so they don't just come out. Um, it also has an antenna holder here. You can run your antenna through the middle, but if you're one of the people that are paranoid about shorting to the frame, you could run it out the back, and uh, it has a little groove cut out back there for it. It also has a little zip tie holders here where you put your... Uh, antenna under there and the zip tie goes around it to help hold it in place. It also has another set of uh, zip ties up here in the front, although I don't think very many transmitters are this long anymore, so maybe if you just use those two it'll be enough. Maybe you could use this, I guess. You could run a zip tie um, through these uh, long slots here on, this, on the edges. Uh, it has the two, two long slots up here too. Those are probably for a battery strap. The one thing that kind of concerns me about this frame is this distance here. If you're running a 1500 milliamp hour battery, that's a lot of weight sitting on here and on my LS210 frame I've actually broken it back here uh, in the back where the uh, where the plate was the thinnest. Up here in the front I mounted this uh, camera mount in here and I think I might have put it in upside down. It has the arrow on there so I thought well maybe the arrow means point up. Well I don't think so. I think the arrow means point forward or something because there's not a lot of room down here at the bottom for your uh, camera to 
to, you know, to lean back inside there. But it does have a little switch that you could turn the LEDs on and off if you wanted to. It comes with this little thin wire like this to uh, power the LEDs. So if I was guessing, I don't know for sure, but I guess there are five volt LEDs. Uh, you could try to hook them up directly to 3S, but if they burn up, then <laughs> that's on you. Uh, it comes with these side plates, and the side plates don't have uh, round holes where you mount your camera to, like if you have an HS 1177, but it does have these little small holes here, and you could probably drill those out a little bit if you wanted to, to uh, make it big enough to hold the um, hold the screw on the side of the HS, um, HS 1177. Now, one thing I noticed about this is that this top plate is a little bit skinnier than uh, than my LS210 frames. It's it's a little bit more narrow. <laughs> nice, I got it on upside down. The LT's backward. Oh well. Uh, it's a little bit more narrow. Now, it's not bad as long as you're using narrow batteries, but if you're using big fat batteries, they might hang off over the side. Uh, at first, I was thinking this would be a great quadcopter uh, frame for a 6S quad, just because the thick plates would help it hopefully survive a little better, because it would be running a little faster and make it a little bit stronger. And also, the heavier plates won't make much of a, much of a difference on a 6S quad as it would on a, a 4S quad, just because you know, 4S quads will be a little bit weaker than a 6S, so this would have it, the 6S wouldn't be quite as affected by the extra weight that this carries. The holes on the end of the arms are cut for the 1806 motors or the uh, larger 2200 series, and I've been asked a little bit about that, and I'm just going to explain it real quick. The 1806 motor, that's that's what this is. It has the uh, hole pattern is a little bit smaller than the hole pattern on this 2204. And you can kind of see that. Now the downside is that both of these have an X shape here with the wire coming straight out the top. And again, this one's an X shape with the wire coming straight out the top. So when you mount these, uh, only only one of these wires can actually point straight down the arm. Now if you use 1806 motors, which I am not recommending for this frame because it's a little bit heavy for it, but if you have the 1806 motors, because the hole pattern on here, you're gonna have to turn the motor um, about 45 degrees so the wires either gonna is gonna come out a little bit pointed like this or a little bit like this but never straight down the arm because of the way the holes are cut it has to come out right here or it has to come out this direction just like I said because of the holes so just be aware of that it's not a big deal whenever I do that I, I run mine to the inside of the frame so that way they are a little bit more protected than they would be from pointing to the outside not a big deal, but just something to be aware of. Here's a six inch prop, and you can see it's not gonna run six inch props. It's gonna be way too big. It's gonna be hitting against that. Here's a, a five inch prop, and this one, it better fit this, because this is what it came with. They, uh, this'll clear just fine, and they're not even, they're not going under the, um, under the main plate there, so it'll spin five inch props just fine, but not six inch. So we'll go ahead and get a few more measurements off of this. This top plate is about one and a half millimeters. And like I've measured before, this one is uh, five millimeters thick. <laughs> it's still crazy to me. The uh, inside plate here, the uh, spacers, they're 35 millimeters between the top and bottom plates. So that's kind of a standard size. A lot of these quadcopter frames come with these little grooves here. And I think that's where you're supposed to put the uh, zip ties. Put the zip ties around there and that way the zip tie doesn't slide up or down either direction. If it's not for zip ties, I have no idea what those are for, but that's that's what I've that's what I've been using them for. All right, we'll go ahead and get this weighed. Comes up to be about 153 grams total, and that includes all the spacers and the landing gear and the 3D printed stuff on the back end. So this is the Lanchin LT210 frame. This thing, I think, has a lot of unique features that try to help set it apart from the competition. First of all, this five millimeter plates. Yeah, good luck breaking them. I think it's still possible, I just say good luck, as long as you're not flying over concrete or into trees or anything completely solid. I don't know how this thing is ever going to break. But in fact that it comes with these little 3D printed things, and this this post is loose, I should have used a uh, Allen key on this. Uh, it comes with the 3D printed things, that's kind of neat, it makes it unique. It has the uh, all the nylon spacers, so you don't have to order a spacer kit along with it. That makes it kind of unique. The uh, LEDs up here on the front with a, on a switch make it kind of unique. These things on the side, they're getting kind of be kind of standard things that a lot of people are doing to try to help protect the uh, camera up in the front. Anyway, I think this is a pretty cool frame. This is available from Banggood. I'll have some links down in the uh, description. And if you have any questions or comments about this, leave them down below. And I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.